Well, nearly 160 years ago this weekend, the southern Indiana town of Newburgh etched its place in American history when a group of Confederate raiders captured the town without firing a shot. Mitch Legan has more in this week's history through headlines. It was July 18, 1862. Abraham Lincoln was president. Every day, the nation fell deeper into its bloody civil war. And along the Ohio River, Confederate raider Adam Rankin Johnson captured the town of Newburgh using a charred log and a stovepipe. The headline reads, Guerrilla Invasion. About 30 Confederate raiders, led by Adam Johnson, crossed the Ohio River from Kentucky to capture the port town of Newburgh and its supplies. But when the raiders landed in Union territory, nobody stopped them. Everybody was at lunch. You know, they were at home having lunch. I mean, you know, so nobody was guarding the warehouse. Nobody was guarding anything downtown. Odds are they had some help from Confederate sympathizers in town. They scrambled up the riverbank and quickly captured a warehouse full of guns and ammunition. After Johnson took the makeshift armory, he and some men came to this building and secured it before setting out to see what else they could find. The Confederates raided Newburgh in a matter of hours and warned if anyone tried to stop them, there were cannons across the river ready to shell the town to the ground. Behind me across the river is basically where the two cannon were located. And that basically, uh, as I mentioned before, one was a stovepipe, which is black, and the other was a burnt log, which was black, and then they mounted them on wagon wheels. The make-believe cannons worked, and the raiders made off with weapons, horses, food. Their leader even left with a new nickname, Stovepipe Johnson. It's kind of uh, a unique story in the fact that um, no shots were fired until later. Within days, a thousand troops were dispatched there to protect the town and return some of the goods. But it didn't save Newburgh from becoming the first town to surrender to a stovepipe. The South called it the For Indiana News Dresden. Desk, yeah, yeah. I'm Mitch and Legan. Many of us here would have called it simply the Civil. The Newburgh Museum is open Fridays and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that's the end of this program, but our work continues online as we cover the news throughout the week at WTIUNews.org. Have a great weekend.